Why do we work hard to solve small problems? Why do we reinvent ourselves and our clients over and over? And why are we giving away marketing strategy for free? It's time to bring home bigger paychecks. It's time to create the lifestyle we deserve and to make a greater impact. This is the Fractional CMO Show, and I'm Casey Stanton. Join me as we explore this growing industry and learn to solve bigger problems. Hey, it's Casey here, and today I want to talk to you about the core responsibilities of a fractional chief marketing officer. Now, there's two mantras that our fractional CMOs here at CMOX embody. And the first one is to solve bigger problems. This is such a great mantra to live by. I've got a flag in my office that says it. I have it as a background on my desktop. I look at this all the time. Solve bigger problems. This is the responsibility of the fractional CMO. Your job is to identify the biggest problem and solve it, and then move on to the next biggest problem and solve it, and the next biggest problem and solve it. So what are examples of big and small problems? A small problem is, what should the content marketer be doing today? Why is that a small problem? I mean, they can't get a lot done today. It doesn't really take us anywhere, even if they did something incredible today because it's just one day, and then tomorrow I have to reinvent it, and the next day I have to reinvent it, and the next day I have to reinvent it, right? Like, that is a a tiny problem to solve. What's a big problem to solve? A big problem to solve is, where are we generating our customers from in the next 90 days? A big problem to solve is, what do we need to have a world-class website that attracts and converts our ideal customer? Those are big problems. Another big problem to solve is, do we hire a copywriter or do we hire an affiliate manager? That's a, that's a perplexing problem to solve. Another one is, how do we increase the conversion rate of our webinars? How do we increase the show up rate of our webinars? Big problems to solve. I would wager that if you solved one problem of that magnitude a week, you would be invaluable to any organization. Think of solving 50 high-quality problems like that. You kind of start running out of them, right? And you just move on to the next problem and the next one, and they get bigger. The impact becomes bigger. When you solve big problems, you make a bigger impact, right? Knowing what to do with the content manager for the day, blah, blah, blah. Not a big deal, not a big impact. Hiring a full-time copywriter or an affiliate manager has the potential of generating a tremendous amount of business for the organization. And as a result, the solution of choosing the right person has a huge impact. And with that big impact kind of begets you earning a bigger paycheck. So solve bigger problems. That's one of your core responsibilities. The second core responsibility of a fractional CMO is to delegate everything except leadership. This is the other mantra. Delegate everything except leadership. Companies are looking for fractional CMOs to come in, build a marketing strategy, and lead a marketing team. They're looking for a leader, someone that can rally the troops every day or every week and drive them forward to getting the outcome that the executive or the board needs for the company. It is easy to get pulled down into small tasks. Sometimes, frankly, it's fun. I don't know about you, but sometimes I like to take my hand at writing a little bit of copy. I I wrote my book, The Fractional CMO Method. I enjoyed the writing. That's not the biggest problem for me to solve every day, to write a little bit, right? Like, that's that's not the problem. I, I don't... I don't impact lives if I'm writing a little bit of copy here and there. That's not it. I'd be better off hiring a couple copywriters. That's the big problem. To be successful, you can't get pulled down into the day-to-day tasks. You have to stay elevated, and you have to delegate everything except leadership. In my mind, I close my eyes, and here's what I think of. I think of hands grabbing my feet and pulling me back down. I need to stay elevated. I need to see things from the big picture, where we're going, why it's good, why it's bad, what the potential is for things to go wrong. And everyone's always pulling me down saying, what should I do here? What do you think about this? Oh, this person's saying this. What do you think? Oh, I'm worried about this thing. Can I get your eyes on this? 
you have to delegate everything except leadership. Because the second you take your eye off of where you're going, things start falling apart. You lose your momentum. Now, that's not to say that sometimes you don't have to roll up your sleeves and get to work and help the team. Right? If there's some back and forth and someone's working on some content and you know you catch wind of it and it's not very good, you might like roll up your sleeves and say, you know what? I'm just going to rewrite this page today and I'm going to tell you how I did it and then you're going to do it this way moving forward. You do that in like a helpful, compassionate way. You're still delegating everything except leadership. The level of leadership that you're providing is a little tactical. I don't want you doing that every day, but you ought to do that when it makes sense. So leadership and solving bigger problems. These are your two things. So let's like kind of break that down. Big picture, what does that mean? Well, you're coming up with a strategy. And then you're getting the right people to deploy the strategy. I see it like this. I'm in a car, right? And I got, I, I, I'm in a caravan of cars, let's say. And we've got the CEO saying, I'm in New York and we got to get to LA. Right, that's what they're saying. And I said, cool, our first stop is going to be in Roanoke. So I'm going to rally the team to get us to Roanoke. We're going to focus our efforts to get to that first destination. That's the leadership. How? Sometimes I know exactly how to do it, right? I, the longer you're in marketing, the longer you're in, the, in this role, you just kind of know the right answer. I certainly didn't start knowing all the right answers, and I certainly don't know all the right answers, but... There's like not a ton of problems that hit my desk that I can't solve pretty quickly because I've seen them before. That's just the nature of anything, right? Surgeons feel the same way, right? Podiatrists feel the same way, right? They kind of see the same stuff over and over. They kind of know how to solve it. But when the problem comes into your lap, you know what the outcome has to be, like what the success looks like if the problem's solved. And if you don't know the answer, you just go figure out how to fight, figure out the answer, if you think it's a webinar, but you've never, never run a webinar before, go hire a webinar consultant. Go hire a copywriter. Go hire someone that can write the webinar script for you. Bring them in and have them deploy it and see how it goes. It won't be perfect the first time, but this is how you create progress as you march towards that outcome goal. That's the leadership. Again, it's not you doing the work. It's you chiefing the strategy and other people doing the work. This goes back to what makes a good fractional CMO client. Well, the answer is a client that either has a team or the budget for a team. Because if there's no budget for a team and there is no team, then you are the marketing team. And you shouldn't call yourself a fractional CMO. You should call yourself a marketing department of one. And that's not what you signed up for, right? <laughs> that's tough. That's hard work. Uh, I've done it before. Maybe you've done it before. You know how crippling it can be to be in that place. So delegate everything except leadership solve bigger problems. That may mean meeting with people on a regular basis, daily, weekly. You might have direct reports. You might need to stay in touch with them. You might have to meet with the executive team and come up with a quarterly plan with them. Um, all of our fractional CMOs, they get together with me personally, and I help them build quarterly plans for their biggest client. That's a ton of fun to do. We all come in, no stress, all fun. We're building great quarterly plans for our clients. Everyone leaves. 80% of their quarterly plan is done, and they go and ink it with their client. Their client loves it. The client feels confident in it. They're off to the races. Stress is low, and then outcomes, um, outcomes are high. So it's like quarterly plans. It's breaking those down into sprints and then ensuring the team stays focused and the right people are on the right thing, and they're doing the things that make sense every day to push themselves towards those outcome goals. That's what a fractional CMO does. If anyone tells you that a fractional CMO is the person writing ad copy, they're wrong. They're writing sales copy, they're wrong. That's not what the CMO does. The CMO has to be the leader. So embody these two things, solve bigger problems and delegate everything except leadership. If you want to hear more about what we do and how we can help you, I wrote a book on it. It's called The Fractional CMO Method, and in June, we hit the Wall Street Journal bestseller list, a number one in the Wall Street Journal bestseller list. You can grab a copy of the book. You can grab it on Amazon. Uh, the audiobook is on Audible, um, but my publisher's got a pretty high price on it. I can give you a lower price, if that matters to you, over on our site, cmox.co slash book. If you go there, you can pick up the audiobook and the um, uh, ebook much cheaper than you can on Amazon. All right. I wish you the best. 
Um, this is the time to be a fractional CMO. If you're hearing this, you're early. It's a blue ocean. There aren't a lot of us out there. This isn't like funnel builders or SEO people or copywriters. Right? Fractional CMO, as an industry, it's nascent. It's young. You can come in and you can start making a name for yourself immediately. If that sounds inter interesting and you want to make a half million dollars a year or more as a fractional CMO, just grab a copy of the book or book a time with my team at cmox.co slash call. And you can ask us some questions. We'll ask you questions, see if we can help you and share how, uh, how that would look. It's pretty low pressure. So if you're serious, you want to build a half million dollar year fractional CMO practice, head to cmox.co slash call, book a call in, and I'll see you soon. All right, take care. Thank you for joining us for today's show. For more information and episodes, visit our site at fractionalcmoshow.com. Go ahead and punch that like and subscribe button on your favorite podcast app. It means a lot, at least to my mom. 